So the other day I travelled down to Kent to meet Sammy from the Knuckleball Twins who has one of the best knuckleball techniques on the planet. This guy is super consistent and gets an insane knuckleball effect on pretty much every single shot. This is how it went down. So I'm joined by Sammy who is a knuckleball expert, one of the best rookie kick takers I've personally ever seen. First question, yeah. which footballs do you like using the best for knuckleballs? So out of these lot, which one would you feel most comfortable taking a free kick with? I think it's got to be a Javilani. Which football boots are the best for knuckleballs? Uh, you've got to be comfortable and you're looking for there's some good padding on the sweet spot. That's what we're going to be striking the ball. Nice. Now, let's get into some free kicks. <laughs> Twenty-five yard free kick. It's actually quite quite a distance. Exactly. Yeah, you need a distance to get the move from the ball. And you're aiming top right, I presume. Yes. Should be tasty. These are normal footballs, very pumped up. So let's get some free kicks going. Sammy, first shot of the day. Let's go. Make it a good one. <laughs> just how much movement Sammy can get on the ball. I've motion tracked a few of his shots, and as you can see, it's insane. So, what is the best knuckleball you've ever scored? 100% I'm real fake now. Scored about six years ago now, but I haven't hit a ball where it's done that loop to loop movement since then. And still to this day, I watch it back and think that's definitely my best goal out of it. To keep the knuckleball really simple, I'll break it down to three steps. The run up, you want to do five to seven steps back and two to the left on your toes. High knee is your pressure ball. Last strike, you run up bigger, making contact on the insteps. Step two, inside part of your foot, and looking to cancel the follow through. That'd be step three to create an upper ball effect. 